Hi, it's Eva. Um, so for this video, I thought I would do a wee isolation haul of all of the clothes that I've been buying since we've been stuck in the house during lockdown, which sounds so serious to say, but stuck in the house. I have decided to do a video on a wee isolation haul. Um, the past few weeks, I've literally been ordering so much clothes online. I've been stuck inside and all I've been doing is just scrolling through online clothing websites. Um, and also with everything that's going on, there's some, some absolutely unreal sales on recently. So I just thought I would show you some of the things that I bought and show you how I style some of it as well. Um, now, I filmed this whole video a few days ago and it was all good, ready to go. And I had took absolutely ages to make it. I edited everything and then I was ready to post it. And um, I maybe basically said I didn't have enough storage on my phone. So I was like that, just going through my phone, trying to delete absolutely everything I could. And I actually accidentally deleted the actual video I was trying to post and lost all of it. So I maybe still said, oh, you don't like have enough storage. I then went on to my recently deleted album and just deleted everything, not realising I had already deleted the actual video and lost it for good. So thanks uh, to me, from me, for doing that and making my life so much easier. Well, so here we go again. I've been absolutely playing myself here. I also just sat and filmed a good eight, nine minutes um, and my camera was facing the wall. So I'm really, really good at this YouTube thing. I'm going to try and actually be able to do it properly this time. So I'll, fingers crossed for me that this works. Um, so I thought I'll just talk you through some of the things that I bought. I got these shoes from ASOS, which was the, one of the first things that I bought actually. Um, I did buy these when all of this was first happening, the first kind of week. And I was hoping when I bought them that I would get to wear these on a summer holiday. Actually, fingers crossed that this still happens. They've just uh, cancelled all the flights until mid-June, but me and my friends are meant to be going to Malia. The end of June, so hopefully these will be worn by me and Malia. Touch wood. Believe it or not, I literally got these shoes for zero pounds. I did not spend a penny and these came to my door because I used my shoot discount and then I had a £20 gift card and I literally got these for nothing because I have free postage from ASOS as well. Now these, um, no, I'm actually as if I'm on like Antiques Roadshow or something. Um, now these are um, £22 normally and they are the ASOS original uh, line so these are so cute I love that they have the kind of platform and I love the pastel colours pastels are such a vibe right now so I would love to style it with an outfit with like other pastel colours maybe like one of those skirts it's like a long kind of flowy satin skirt this is quite annoying because when I first filmed the video um, I hadn't opened any of the parcels and so it was like me opening them up for the first time and seeing what's inside um, and I hadn't seen them before but now I have thanks to me well my first order was a little pretty little thing uh, one and this is a wee grey this is a wee grey bodysuit I got from Pretty Little Thing. I absolutely love the detail on the shoulders. I'll flip my thing right up. Um, if you can kind of see there, it has like these puff sleeves. Um, I love them and I love that it has like the elasticated uh, square neckline as well. And it has the cute wee button detail there. You could definitely wear this as um, a wee cosy set, like just chilling in the house. I could even wear it with these grey flares I've got on. Or you could so style it up as well and do it with like a pair of straight leg jeans and heels. Um, I got this for £11 but I think originally it was £12 because I'm pretty sure I only got a 10% discount on this one. In my last video I had mentioned that one of the shops I absolutely love is Bershka. Now Bershka didn't have a sale but Bershka is just really cheap already and has like really good value for money on their clothes. So I was having a wee look through Bershka and one of the things I've seen was this. There we go. I absolutely love this top. It's got my wee cute Bugs Bunny on it. It's got his wee basketball I'm from the movie. Oh my god. This is really annoying me. I can't remember what the name of it is. It's like one of my favourite movies when I was a wee girl. The one with Michael Jordan in it and it has Looney Tunes. Oh my god. Am I for you? Oh wait. Space Jam! Space Jam! So I actually love 
this top. I love that it's got that wee cute design and I love um I love the bright pink colour. That is so me. I can't remember how much this one was, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen. Um I'll look it up later. So this um I'll show you it properly when I've got it on. But this is a wee necklace that I got from Bershka. I think this was literally £5.99. Oh, sorry, oh my god, my hair keeps getting stuck in that loss. So I love that it has like the wee thin dangly chains with the stars on it underneath. And it has that wee silver chain here, which is so cute. I love a layered necklace. Now, this is actually sold out on the Bershka website. I did check the other night, but they do have ones that are quite similar. I think they've got one and it's the same style, except it's got like a wee rose hanging down rather than the stars. Um, so I will tag like that one below and you can like, if you like wanted one similar, you could get that one. The next thing I got from Bershka was this Gemini necklace. Hang on. I got this Gemini necklace from Bershka. It was literally £3.99. <laughs> And I got this because I'm a Gemini um, and I absolutely love using it as an excuse for like absolutely everything I do. I'm not purely like into astrology but I just love like reading those wee horoscope things on Instagram and that must be so annoying for people when I put it on my story but sorry because I'm a Gemini. So the next thing I got was from Motel Rocks and this is actually quite annoying. And what I got from Motel Rocks I ordered a jumper first and it had like a good sale on at the time because Motel Rocks, like, like I said before, it's one of my absolute favourite, favourite? Like I said before, it's one of my absolute favourite clothing brands. What is wrong with you? I just can't even talk. And it can be a bit pricey sometimes. It's not purely like, like designer expensive, but it's like for in terms of um, fast fashion, like it is, can be quite expensive. And basically I got an email through from Motel Rocks and they were like, can you please send us proof of your identity? Like, I uh, said my order flagged up as fraud, like, on their system. So, it's really rude because I used my card. Uh, they asked me, could they have a proof of my ID? Could they have a picture of my bank statement with my home address on it? And a picture of my actual bank card? I was like, hang on a minute here. I was like, surely not, this must be fraud. So I sent screenshots to the actual Motel Rocks Insta official Instagram page with the wee thick on it. Um, and I just said to them like, is this real? Like, I don't want to be sending any of my personal details over before I know like this is from you. And they came back and they said it was from them. So I had to send them um, all my details to prove it was me. But like I scored out, I had to take a picture of my bank card. I scored out um, everything except my name and the last four numbers. But anyways, that all got sorted. Uh, when they came back to me, they just said, that's fine, we're going to dispatch your order. So I thought, all right, everything's fine now. Um, and then Motor Rock's got an even bigger sale. So I then went on and I bought a second thing. And um, it all happened again. I got another email wanting all this. And I was like, I gave you my details. And they were like, I'm sorry, but if your order's flagged up, we need it. So I had to send them all again. And then I said, I just said to them, can you please like amend your system so that this doesn't keep happening every single time I make an order because I do love Motel Rocks and I just can't be honest. So, sorry, I just can't be bothered with that hassle. And they were like, they, they didn't say no, but they didn't say yes either. They were like, sorry if your order flags up, we need to the proof. I'm like, like who do they think I am? But moving on. So this is the jumper that I first bought from Motel Rocks. I love this. It has the angel um, detail on it and it is like kind of charcoal acid wash if you see up here. Now, this is way more oversized than I thought it was going to be. I ordered an extra small thinking like it would come to like, I thought it would come to like here and um, no, it does not. Like, come on, come on. But yeah, I do absolutely love this jumper. This is like a jumper that I have been wanting for quite a while now. So I was really happy to get a discount on it in the sale. But now, this was £48 originally. And I got it for like 30 something. So this um, is the second thing that I bought from Motel Rocks. On their website, they call it a PU skirt. So it's kind of like that leathery material. Um, and I love the sage green colour, it's so, so nice. Um, so this is originally £35, but I got this for 20 something, which was actually unreal. And I got it in a size small, but again, I think I'm gonna have to like return this and then get an extra small, cause it's just that wee bit too big. I did have a denim skirt from Motel Rocks and it was an extra small and a wee bit tight. So I thought I'll get the small, but it's obviously just the difference in material. 
Now, my plan for this, when I first saw this, is I had an image in my head of like a cropped blazer um, in the same kind of colour. And this is the next drama, which I'll move on to in a second. Moving on to my next drama. As I said before, um, when I first saw that green skirt, I just imagined a wee crop boxy blazer in like the similar kind of greeny colour. And so I seen one on Boohoo and Boohoo had such a good sale, by the way. Literally got this blazer for like £7. Um, and it was a really good colour match. So I was so excited for this to come. In my video last time, I had not opened up uh, the actual parcel of the blazer. And I got an absolute shock when I did. Because they sent me... Oh, they sent me it in the wrong colour. Now I do actually really like the black one so I'm just going to keep it anyway. I might reorder the green one as well because it was only £7. I really like the button detail there and I love um, that it is like a bit oversized in the arms. I love Boohoo's clothing but I've had like, this is quite a few times they've done stuff like this with me like send the wrong colour and stuff. So, oh my god, I'm actually just slating all the clothing brands on this uh, video. Okay, so I got this jacket from Topshop. I think this is one of my actual favourite jackets I've ever, ever ordered. It is like the leather PU again. The leather um, material. It has a cute button-down detail in the middle. And it's got a tie waist to bring your waist down. This originally was meant to be £49 and I got this for like 30 something because Topshop had a good sale on at the time. It was like up to 50% but I got this for, I don't even know, I can't even be bothered working out the percentage. Well, when I ordered from Topshop, I also ordered this wee bodysuit. I absolutely love the detail at the top on the bodysuit. Um, and I think the colour is really nice because it's like a kind of off-white cream sort of colour. Um, so this was another dilemma. When I ordered this, um, I, no, I actually thought that I was ordering a UK6, but I actually, when I then was do making this video the first time around, realised that I'd ordered a UK10 because it says US6. I'm actually like the biggest idiot you'll ever meet, which I'm sure you'll realise for, like, from like the rest of this video. But it actually like fit me all right, so I was quite lucky anyway. This was literally £12 and that's at full price, but I did get this for cheaper. I, again, I'm sorry, I can't remember how much I got it for. Oh my god. <laughs> this was a lot more oversized than I imagined it to be. This is an extra small, like, are they actually for real? But I did have a solution for this, um, a wee hack to bring up your jumper a bit if you want to make it like fit a certain way um, or just be a bit shorter. So I'll show you what my hack is for that. Well, basically what you do is you take a belt. I don't know if people I don't know if people know this, but this is just what I do when I a jumper like is too oversized for me like this. Put the belt on um, to the size to whereabouts that you want to take the jumper up to. Oh, look! So basically what you do is you put the belt on at the level where you want to take your jumper up and then you start to pull it through. Um, yeah. And then what you do is you pull it over and like double it up like this and try and try and do it so it does look even. So this like isn't perfect. I probably am still gonna get the extra extra small, but it's a lot better than it was. And um, this is a wee bit more like what I imagined this to actually look like. My cat's here by the way. What I have done is I have layered this with actually the top I had on at the beginning of the video, uh, the wee light grey polo neck because I love uh, the difference between the light grey and the dark charcoal grey. So the trousers that I have chose to pair this with are my black Topshop flares, um, these, and I have done some white uh, Adidas chunky trainers with it. So yeah. And I've done this with the Silver Bershka necklace. Um, I love the layers with this because I've got the layers with the top and the jumper. I love the layers with the necklaces as well. Oh, girl. 
So I absolutely love this skirt. It does not fit me at all, but I love it. I love the colour, I love the texture. Um, as I'll show you, it is gaping on me. Now, I ordered the small. I would have needed the extra small on this one, so I'm just going to do a straight exchange. Um, my original plan was to pair this with the boxy crop blazer in a similar colour with nothing underneath and then do like a necklace and things but that didn't go to plan so I have just done a little white crop with it so this white crop has um, a little, I don't know what you call that, these wee bits here and they're kind of like tortoise shell which is why I chose these tortoise shell glasses to go with it and I also paired it with some black biker boots and now obviously you could dress this up but this is how I'm choosing to do it. Because I have my um, black croc biker boots on I chose to do a wee black croc bowling bag. So that was me posing for a wee bit. Um, so this is the leather jacket from Topshop. So I thought it would be quite cool to do an all leather outfit. I've got my leather jacket on, just a normal wee top under it. And I've got my leather trousers on and my leather, well, you know, shiny leather? I don't really know. Um, biker boots. And I thought I would do a bag with a wee bit of colour just to, so it's not all black sort of thing. I feel very matrix right now. I also feel a bit like, what is it? Is it Blade? Is it Slade? You know the guy that kills vampires? What's his name again? I feel like him. I'm sure he had one of these. He might not. I might be talking absolute rubbish, but I think he did. If you have a wee closer up view on the buttons, which I think are so cute on it as well. I know this is quite similar to what I last had on, but when I did have it on, I was just thinking that this top would go really nice with some leather jacket, some leather trackers, some leather trousers and um, biker boots. Sorry, I'm always messing up my words. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, this is the top from Topshop. This was the one that was in the size 10, but thank God it actually fits me really well, so I can get away with that. I love this wee cute detail because it's really like, really, like simple, but it just gives it that wee bit extra detail, which I absolutely love. Okay, so this is the wee top that I got from Bershka. This is my wee Space Jam top, which I absolutely love. And I have chosen to do a wee pony with this because I wanted to look like, um, why do I keep forgetting the names? I wanted to look like the girl bunny in it. It's like, okay, my brain is fried from being stuck in the house, so sorry. I have paired this with some Topshop bleached um, straight leg jeans. And I have done it with my NK, NK something? My Nike MK Sums because it has the pink and orange detail on it. And I have gone with the wee gold Gemini necklace for this one. So I just wanted to show you a wee alternative to the trainers. What I've actually done is I've put on these ASOS, um, ASOS kind of wedges with it. Um, and just because it was pink and it kind of tied in, to be quite honest, I couldn't be bothered styling a whole outfit around a pair of shoes. Okay, so I have decided to do this um, pretty little thing bodysuit with my grey top shop flares that I had on at the start of the video. Um, I did have another pair of joggies in grey which I was going to wear with it, but these are actually a much nice like colour with it. The other joggies were a darker grey and this just looks a lot better as like a wee kind of cord. I really love this look. I love the detail on the shoulders and I love the buttons. The bodysuit I ordered, I ordered it in a 6 and I could have actually got a wee bit better with the 8 because it's, I mean it fits but it's a wee bit like <laughs> hard to stretch. Um, I have quite a long body for being such a short person so I'm feeling like it's kind of um, there's like tension here below the arms if you know what I mean like and what I do what I do actually like about this is 
the elastic and the puffs on the sleeves as well and um, it creates a nice square neckline um yeah again i have done it with this uh, necklace the silver necklaces would have been nice with this but they're more of like a round shape and i like that this just kind of is a wee delicate chain and then like a kind of straight because we've got a box um, a square neckline here, I like that the necklace is straight over as well. Um, I have chosen to do just some white chunky trainers uh, with this look. Um, so I'm living through this. So I would just like to say, I just like to say as if I'm getting nominated for an award or something. Um, I would just like to say thank you for watching my video. I will try and make some more like this if you like it so let me know if you like to see this type of video or if you want just anything else and um, hopefully this has given you a bit more of an idea about who I am and what clothes I like to wear a bit more about what my style is like and I will tag all of the clothes that I possibly can below and um, yeah so please subscribe to this and give it a wee like if you're up for it. Thank you!